How y'all doing? Welcome back to Get Out of the House, Go Fish. I've been wanting to uh, get this uh, setup, saw it on Amazon, uh, saw that uh, it's like 12 to a pack. So I decided to uh, order this setup here. So I'm gonna open this guy up. So it's supposed to be 12 to a package. All right. So nice little package there is indeed, it looks to be 12, so I'm gonna open that up. It's already set up, rigged together. You have your wide gap hook. This is a number three hook that it comes with. Um, you got your swivel right here. Let me see if I can get that in focus. I don't know if I can get that in focus. And then there's the, the rod. So in none of these kits, uh, these Tokyo rig kits, I've, I've never seen one come with the weights. Uh, it's got a really long rod here, so you can cut it to however long or short you want it. But they don't come with the, uh, the actual worm weights, okay? Little egg weights, or you're gonna have to buy those. So anyway, package came with 12, and uh, quality seems to be pretty darn good. I mean, it is a three hook wide gap hook, good quality, looks to be. That's where you tie your line right there to that swivel right there. And then you put your weight right there. Uh, but once you uh, choose the size of weight that you wanna put on here, uh, you're just gonna slide it onto the wire. And if you need to cut this wire, I mean, this, you can see how long this wire is gonna be. So depending on how far off the bottom that you want to fish is uh, basically uh, how you short you want to cut that, that wire. Um, and that just basically just slides on just like that. And then once it's on, and you're going to take your pliers right here and you're just going to bend, I'm not going to do it right now, but you're just going to bend that um, upwards and it's going to prevent the uh, the weight from sliding down and sliding off. Now uh, you can use one weight like that, or you can turn it around like this, or you can add uh, two weights on there. You know, one up like this, and you can add another one like this. You know, and then you're going to bend your wire right here to keep. Keep them on. Um, it's a sharp hook too. I just barely touch it; nothing wants to pierce my skin. So that is a nice sharp hook. Um, I guess if you don't want to buy the two weights like that, you could always get a little uh, egg weight or an egg weight and put on there. There we go. Depends on how you want to use it. So there's, there's a variety of things that you can do with this Tokyo rig. So, uh, I'm gonna try this out in fresh water and salt water, of course. Try it in a variety of ways, uh, fishing with it, and uh, kind of see uh, how it does. Um, like I said, I've never used it before. Uh, I've only heard about it. Uh, some people have success with it. Some people just kind of roll their eyes at it, you know? So, anyway. Um, I think I'm gonna try that with some shrimp on it when I go saltwater fishing. Um, and then uh, when I go freshwater, of course, I'm gonna just put a worm on there. Um, kind of like a Texas rig, but you know, and just kind of bob it up and down. So it's something that you just gotta kind of like uh, play around with it and see uh, um, what you like, different styles. All right, so I'm gonna get that hooked up on one of my poles, on, my, on one of my rods. We'll get out there to uh, do some fishing with some freshwater, saltwater, see what we can uh, hook up with. All right, let's get going. 